Welcome to our Interpretation Center of our Blessed Gadiri Tekakwita. What we have here is the family of Gadiri Tekakwita, the prominent people that were in her life as she was uh, at a young age. And as we move along, as you'll see here, the black robes were instrumental in Kadiri's life. These were the first people that actually encountered the Aboriginal people or Mohawk people in Mohawk Valley. What our people lived in was called Ganesesne. This is the longhouse. And this is a replica of something that Gadari would sleep in in her family. Families at the time would, would actually live in the longhouse. This is just further exemplifies what the longhouse looked like. As you can see, there was a war wall around and people lived, individual families lived among them. What we have here is how Kateri left Orisville, New York and made her way up to Ganawake. It explains in detail her trip and how she left. It mentions how she was treated, I should say mistreated by her family. And it brings us to modern day Ganawage, the cenotaph where Kadri resided before she was moved over here permanently. We have here the story of a young man who gave Kadri the credit for helping him get healthy again. And this was the miracle that enabled Kadri to become a saint. What we have here, is many of the events that led up to the canonization, that led up to her eventually becoming St. Gadiri Tekakwita. That concludes our virtual tour of Gadiri Tekakwita. I want to thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you in person. Anna.